Hello everyone, I am Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am kicking off the first of seven videos leading up to Halloween for just quick, inexpensive, super easy to make treats for the kids, um, for their after school snacks, for in their lunch, just little treats. I thought it would be a cute idea and not take much time out of my day to make them. Today I'm starting off with a little English muffin pizza with a little Halloween twist. So stick around and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so for the sake of this recipe, I am only going to be using two English muffins, so I'm making four little mini pizzas, um, just because I'm making these for lunch for the little kids for now, and then I will go ahead and make more when the kids get out of school. Um, this is the mozzarella cheese that I'm using. It is sliced. There are 12 slices in this. I would say for 12 slices, maybe a little more pricey than if you were to, you know, kind of buy a block and do it yourself. But I got the slices for the sake of being able to cut them out using my cookie cutters. So Walmart has these um, relatively cheap. You can get the more, you know, substantial kind of heavier duty, um, you know, versions of these for a little more money. But I think I get this in like a pack of like eight different sizes for 97 cents. Um, these guys came in a pack I believe of eight for like two dollars so you have all your little cookie cutter shapes now keep in mind you can make this recipe for any holiday it's just Halloween around the corner so that's what we're doing here um, so these are the ones I've decided to make with my four a little pumpkin a bat a ghost and a little spooky cat I thought the kids would enjoy that and then just store-bought sauce or homemade it doesn't really matter your preference um, and that is it, guys. I've preheated my oven to 325. You don't want to scorch the cheese. You just want it to melt down and heat everything through. So, getting going, I don't even grease my pan. My pan prepared. Prepared the, right there, and then... Um, Here we are. I'm going to open up my English muffins just like that. This recipe can seriously take less than five minutes to make. Um, the little ghost is a little bit tricky. I hope the kids don't mind one of his, uh, one of the tips here. Either the one, oh, let me get in frame here. Either the one at his head or the one at his tail is going to be a little bit cut off. I don't think they'll notice. Um, and don't worry about the scraps. Throw them in a baggie. Throw them on something else. Um, my little guys are sleeping right now or they'd be eating these little scraps as a snack. <laughs> and there you have it. That's the festive part of this whole thing. It's a traditional recipe that's quick and easy. And then you just put your own little fun spin on it. Um, it would be really cute to have like little mini pepperoni on here too. I just don't have any, so go in without. One of them waking up. And spooky cat. Just make sure it's cut through all the way at the bottom so it doesn't tear and ruin your shape. I have been using these little cookie cutters for everything lately. I've been doing the kids fun lunches and just making their sandwiches all fun shapes. They have imprints. They are loving it. I love doing it. So. Just like that. There you have it. So now we will spoon just a little bit of sauce onto each of the English muffins. As much or as little as you'd like. Thank you. 
And then you just place your cheese right on top. And those slices work out perfect. They don't hang over the edge too much. So there they are. I am going to pop them on the pan and put them in the oven probably for about five minutes. And there you have it. <laughs> about five minutes. And then I will check on them and see where we're at. We will be right back. Okay, here they are all finished. Like I said, you don't want to scorch that cheese. You don't want it to burn or anything. I just left it until they were nice and melted. My oven, it took about eight minutes um, to just start melting down. If you want to cook them longer, obviously do you. And um, all ovens are different. So it might take you a little bit longer or a little less time. Um, these little napkins, they sell them at Walmart for all the different holidays. They're like 98 cents a pack. <clears throat> cute little things to keep it festive. Um, they add a, a cute little touch with that much effort. Um, also, muffin liners. It's just little cupcake liners. I put them inside out and put them in cute little bowls. I got these at Dollar Tree, like three for a dollar in the pack. Or you can just leave them as they are. Um, so I will serve these up probably... Well, let's take the ghost, huh? Um, with a little... Oh, and just some fruit just to keep their their snack on the healthier side and then their cute little napkin and then I got these I always try to grab these things if I see them on clearance they were at Hobby Lobby for like 25 cents for 50 of them and I'll just stick that in there as like a little food pick for them so let's get these guys out of the way that's how I would plate that up Cute little after school snack. It took me 10 minutes really to just put it all together and get it on the plate for them. And it looks like I spent all day and they will love it and I will be happy. So I hope this helps you out for some inspiration on some after school snacks or even a, just a quick lunch. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video guys. I'm super excited. Bye bye.